my recent visit to Japan made me do this video to give you a clear idea about Miyajima Island. Miyajima is known as Itsukushima and it is a small island in Bay of Hiroshima. This is a must-see destination and can arrange as a day trip from Hiroshima. We went to Miyajima by train and I have attached few clips to show you around the beautiful island. You will need to book and reserve tickets ahead for easy and comfortable traveling. To reach Miyajima Island, you will need to catch a ferry that leaves the port every 10 minutes. You can use the JR Pass or the Japanese Rail Pass to go by some ferries. The day we went to Miyajima was raining and it was very crowded. And it was a public holiday in Japan too. The ferries are always busy and crowded, so you will need to line up for few minutes for the next ferry. If you want to stay in the island of Miyajima, you need to look at the advertisements on websites be because the main island called Miyajima too. When traveling by the ferry, you can see the beautiful island from far and ferries takes only 10 minutes to reach the island. Spring weather around Miyajima can still be cold so it's best to have warm clothes with a jacket and an umbrella. There are few temples in the island and the Daishon temple is the main temple behind Itsukushima shrine. Otori gate is the main attraction from far from the ferry and also from next to it. It has become a famous photo shooting destination in Japan. At high tide, both the Otori gate and its Tsukushima shrine appears to be like floating. Being able to see this view is the thrill of coming to Miyajima. Every six hours, the tide shifts giving visitors a chance of experience a whole different view of the large Otori gate. During the low tide, Visitors can walk right up to the base of the gate and see up from below. In Meijima, other than what I mentioned above, you can visit Hokoku Shrine, Five Stored Pagoda, the Treasure Hall, Tahota Pagoda, Daiganji Temple, Museum of Meijima, and the Sea Themed Aquarium, Momijidani Park, Machia Street Shopping Arcade. Yamambe Path and Takikoji Ali and Mount Misen are the other options. Mount Misen is a large forest registered as a UNESCO site. This mountain is considered as a holy spot and you can visit Mount Misen where the Miyajima ropeway start near the entrance to the Momijidani Park. You will be able to see the splendid view of the park and the Mount Misen is the highest mountain in Miyajima Island. While walking along the busy crowded streets of Miyajima, you can enjoy freshly caught and cooked seafood like oysters and mussels as well. Different types of sweets are available too. If you like to have a coffee, there is a Starbucks and also an island brewery opposite to grab a cold beer. Before heading to the main island, don't forget to grab a souvenir that you will not find anywhere in Japan. Lastly, if you want to visit Miyajima Island during the festival period, please check the dates before your bookings. I'm leaving Miyajima today thinking to come back another time. Hope the information I have given will help you to plan your journey to Miyajima.